Welcome to the Tech Tips video update for troubleshooting video playback problems. If you're watching this video, you're probably experiencing something like what you see on the screen right now, and that is a video that will not play back. There are a number of reasons for this, and I'm going to try to cover most of them. The first and most obvious is to check and see if your browser is up to date. In this case, we're looking at Microsoft Internet Explorer. The way to check and see what version you're running is to click on Help, and then go down to About Internet Explorer. Now, the wording may change slightly from version to version, but basically you're going to end up going to the Help, and then look for something that looks something close to that. And it'll be worded differently for every browser, most likely. So let's click that and see what we've got. So in this case, we're running version 6.0, or 6. Point blah blah blah. And that's basically about a 10-year-old browser. Um, that's not going to cut it. The minimum requirement is at least version 8, and that's with most of the patches applied. Microsoft is notorious for patching their browser, and then later on they'll patch it again, and then they'll patch it again. There could be literally you know, a dozen or more patches to update their browser. Um, I also want to mention that they have recently released their version 9 browser, and that will be the easiest way to get you up and running instead of running through uh, the entire patch process. And I'm not certain the version 9 may not be available for XP users. So if you're running Windows XP, you may be out of luck. You may only be able to update uh, 8, you know, to version 8 and a number of patches. So we know we need to update this, and this is actually a Windows XP that I'm showing you right here. So what we need to do, the easiest way to do the update process is to go to update.microsoft.com, and that will automatically forward to the correct port, uh, URL for the updates for your particular operating system. Now, in this case, it's wanting me to uh, do a uh, Windows component, blah, 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 um, you're going to want to, you're going to need to install anything that it requests. So let's go ahead and install that. And install now. Your process may look a little different. It just depends on, you know, how many patches you've already run and whatnot. Um, this particular instance here is running uh, Windows XP with Service Pack 3. So a lot of patches have already been installed already, but there are plenty more. The next thing it has is uh, we need to run this express thing here, so let's do that. Now keep in mind, this is uh, window updating the Internet Explorer is uh, probably the hardest way to do this um, if you're experiencing video playback problems. Easier route is to install a different browser like Firefox or Chrome, and I'll go into those later. But for now, uh, because a lot of people just like to use what they're familiar with, I am going to show you how to update the Microsoft Internet Explorer. Okay, you can't see it. Let me scroll this up here. Um, it wants us to download this and install now. You're basically going to have to, anything that it says to install, you're going to have to do that. Uh, and this is right now, we're just getting it, it's getting up to the point where it'll even let us go in and see what updates we need to install. We haven't even got to the update process. We're updating the ability to update, if that makes sense. Microsoft patches are lots of fun. Okay, the installation is complete with that. Let's click close. <laughs> and now we need to continue again. Okay. So we're going to go to www.microsoft.com. Type in the search window, Internet Explorer 8. Now I know it says it right here, but who knows if this ad will be here next time you watch this so let's type it into the search window type Internet Explorer 8 and then search and that brings up a link right here let's go ahead and click that and we do not want to get it optimized for Bing and MSN let's just scroll down here and get Internet Explorer without Bing and MSN and that goes to this page and we can download now we want the XP 32-bit and click Save and we'll save it on our desktop with that file name save and close let's go ahead and close the browser and then here's the file we downloaded let's double click and we're going to run it
And I do not want to participate. Click Next. Accept. And let's go ahead and let it install the updates. Click Next. Okay, when it's all done uh, downloading, uh, go ahead and click on Restart. Okay, we're back. And let's make sure we've got uh, what we're looking for. We want to go to Help and check uh, About Internet Explorer. And you see we're now at version 8. Doesn't mean we're done. Let's uh, go back to the... Let's see, we want to go to update dot microsoft.com and select custom and the good news is it looks like we've got all of the Internet Explorer updates when uh, when we first installed it now it might turn out that if you already had Internet Explorer installed uh, like say a year ago you probably want to run through this process anyway and look through here and look for anything that says Internet Explorer 8 update okay the other option of course is to install Internet Explorer 9 and let's see if that's available on XP I'm pretty sure it isn't Windows Internet Explorer 9 download now Ah, okay. Looking for Internet Explorer 9? To install Internet Explorer 9, you need to upgrade to a more recent version of Windows. So you're going to need probably, well, at least Windows 7, and possibly it might work on Vista. So if you're running Windows XP, you're done. So we've got the browser taken care of. Now let's go to, the, now we need uh, to install the Flash Player. So let's go to Adobe www.adobe.com and we want the Adobe Flash Player. Okay, so now I always uncheck whatever they're trying to push on here. Uh, in this case, it's the Google bar. Uh, I hate installing any of these bars. Um, or sometimes it could be like uh, McAfee antivirus or whatever. Uh, generally, if they're trying to push something on you, just uncheck it and don't take it. And then click download now. And we got a little pop-up right here on our browser that says it wants to install an add-on. And to install it, click here. So we know that this is safe coming from Adobe. So let's install this add-on for all users and click install and what that said was the Adobe DLM which is download manager okay and then here's the Adobe flash player uh, installing using the da the download manager here's another thing that popped up we need to read all their nonsense and then click install and done close the download manager and we've got flash installed now and at this point our website should work and we're going to click access product and let's just pick the first thing we see which is the introduction video hey what do you know it's working I'm going to pause that so uh, so you can hear me talk um, and you know like I said you should be working if you're getting uh, the video playing that's great if not um, we, we might still need to do a little bit of work uh, let's close the browser and we want to open up the uh, control panel by going to the start menu and again I'm doing this on Windows XP and it's gonna look a little different depending which operating system you're using um, in this case to check uh, the programs that are installed we're gonna go here to add or remove programs uh, in Windows 7 it's just called programs uh, also in the control panel and as you can see this is a, a fairly uh, fresh system it doesn't have much installed on it um, so if everything we tried didn't work or let's say you're running still uh, uh, you didn't go through all the process I've run you through before and what I would start with would be to go to the flash player and click remove and remove it 
and do a, fr a restart of your computer. And when it comes back up, go back to the Adobe site and do a fresh install of the uh, the player because chances are you may not even have an up-to-date player. The one we just installed that I showed you was 10.2. That means there were 10 point or 9 point X number of versions that came prior to this. If you're having video playback issues and you think your browser's good to go, then the next step is to, you know, check which version of the player you have. I showed you how to install it because we didn't have it installed at all. But, you know, most people at this point do have it installed. So like I said, you would you would remove it, go to the Adobe site, download the newest version and install it. Now you will do this for any browser you use. So next I'm going to show you how to uh, check with Firefox.